What's up, guys? Welcome back to the TNT Podcast. Right. I'm your host, Tasha. I'm T. What's up, y'all? So what are we talking about today, babe? All right, so we're talking about songs that we hate. So oh. many times we, on this channel, we always do reactions <laughs> to songs that we like. And uh, we said that we weren't going to upload reactions of songs that we hate, but we can talk about it, though. Oh, okay. But before we get started, make sure you stay to the very end to see how you can win a reaction from us, plus see who last week's winner was. Yes, exactly. And we'll show you how you can win. This week. This week, yeah, that's so right. Go ahead and smash that like button, y'all. So let's well, anyway, get into it, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Songs we hate. Right. You want to start or shall I? No, go ahead. You start. So I have one song that I really, really hate, and the video just topped it off for me, and that was that book dish bitch video. <laughs> it oh, was by so, Ramstein. It was so vulgar, and people were like, I love this, and... And I'm like, how? Like, if you watch the video, we're going to leave a link to the video in the description. Like, I just felt some kind of way you showing me this video because right. I was like, it was like, oh, and you know another one? Wait, wait, you got to finish talking about this No, because I hate this song equally, Glory Hole. Oh, that, my Steel Panther. <laughs> that was so inappropriate. Uh, I was like, why are you showing me this? Guys, now, if y'all, let me go ahead and just b back up for a second. Uh, the first song, Buck Dish, is a song from the metal band Rammstein. Mm -hmm. They're a German metal band. Mm -hmm. And so it, their whole stick is about m being shocking. Mm -hmm. And so I think that they really accomplished it with that song. Uh, because it was uh, the 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 concert performance was outrageous too. But uh, Steel Glory Hole, which was by Steel Panther, is a parody '80s band okay. in which they make parody songs, but the the lyrics in them are incredibly vulgar. And yeah. if you know what a Glory Hole is, then you know that it's really vulgar. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't want to make this this video completely negative. So what songs do you actually like? But we we got to go to what songs you hate first and then oh, I'll okay. go into what I actually Okay. All right. Like. We, can, we can do that. Well, the first song that I have on my list that I absolutely hate, I cannot stand this song. I cannot stand these artists oh. is Aqua. Oh, I love that's 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 one of my guilty I pleasure hate songs. Aqua. And Aqua has this <laughs> hit song called Bar Barbie, Girl. Barbie Girl. Oh yeah. That you play, and I absolutely I hate that song. When I hear it on the radio, if I hear you playing it, it makes me cringe. <laughs> it makes me cover my ears. I'm like, ah, I just can't stand it. So I do not like Aqua I Barbie love Girl. That song. Now the next song that I do not like is uh Man, y'all gonna hate me for this. But this is it's Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On. Oh, oh, babe, how could you hate oh, a Celine Dion song? Well, first of all, I, I've never, I'm never, I'm not a fan of Celine Dion. I've <gasps> never listened to her music, and a, My Heart Go On is probably the only song that I've heard of hers. And so, oh, I grew up in a house. They gonna with, hate you I, for real. Well, I'm, I'm telling my story. <laughs> I grew up in a house with four sisters, mm -hmm. and when the movie Titanic came out, they watched that movie. Over, <laughs> over, 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 over again, and so that song "My Heart Will Go On" was just played so much yeah. on the radio and in the house and everything. And it became I, too much. Yeah, for it was too much for me. I was like, ah, oh, turn it off. When will it end? You know what's funny? So you hate these songs because they were overplayed. Yeah, and I hate. The, the songs that were suggested. Just because you heard them. No, because <laughs> they are vulgar. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't like vulgarity at all. Well, it, just so, show, it just shows our, our different taste in music. Yeah, and yeah. so when people suggest, like, vulgar songs or whatever, and I might react to it, like, I'm not going to upload it, right. you know? And okay. we already talked about that, like, songs we hate. I'm not uploading uh, songs that goes against like my beliefs or anything like that now t he might still get me yeah and he might upload it but that's the only time you're gonna see songs oh, man, that like i that, hate that, oh, on this channel like that walker wheeler reaction that was oh man that was oh priceless. the boob the the boob Puss video boots. yeah yeah oh so good <laughs> and there was a, you know what there's another one where the guy was I can't say it but a lot of people were mad at me he was it was talking about a dead corpse and oh, was, uh, Code Blue by TSL. That was TSOL. just so yeah. inappropriate. And 
like even the comments on it just like were super disrespectful. Mm. But let's go ahead and be positive and talk about <laughs> songs that we do up. love. Okay. And these are uh songs that were actually suggested by our subscribers that I end up loving. Yeah, these the songs that we're going to name are songs that we've actually reacted to yeah. on the channel. Yeah. Uh so you guys can check them out. Um, on your own free time, but okay. uh, what's on your list? Baby? So this this one, I'm a I'm gonna pull it up, and this is probably gonna eventually go on your most hated songs because I actually play this over and over again. And if you've ever joined our live streams, which you if you want oh. to join our live stream tonight, uh. our country music live stream at 9:30, be there, be square. But God's country. <laughs> God. By Blake Shelton. God's Country is one of my favorite songs, and that was a request by a subscriber. And when I heard the song, it just it just gives me all these feels. And every time I hear the song, like I never get tired of it okay. because I never listened to Blake Shelton before. I seen him on The Voice mm. and thought he was funny, but never listened to his music. Okay. And so he's such a great singer, but his songs are fantastic as well. And so I really made like a personal connection to that song. It just, for some reason, it just, it, I have an emotional connection to the song, okay. and so that's what makes me love it. Okay. Another one is Chicago Now. Oh, yeah. I introduced you to that. You introduced me to Chicago, and I listen to this song almost every day. Yeah. It is on my Feel Good playlist, and it just gives me the feels. I love the instruments they play. Um, I dance salsa. Mm -hmm. And so that song with the trumpets... Um and the trombone and all the the instruments that they play it reminds me of salsa like the cadence of uh the the rhythm of the song is very close to a lot of the salsa music yeah. I listen to um and then I love the message in okay, it cool. another I have a lot of favorites so <laughs> um I actually did this song um Monday I think and it was Bruce Hornsby the way it is oh yeah that's just the way yeah it is. and so when I first heard it I was like wait a minute Tupac's on this <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and then when I kept listening to it like uh the the melody from the piano is just impeccable but the lyrics um I'm doing this thing um called the University of Music and it's where I do lyrical breakdowns of uh songs that actually deserve it like mm -hmm. really good songs with good meaningful lyrical content and so um I'll be breaking down the lyrics of the mm. song and say like what it means to me and um, just talking about it in depth because there's a lot of songs that deserve more than just a <gasps> oh my a reaction. gosh yeah, yeah. Right, yeah like there are songs that just are well constructed very meaningful and so I'll probably be doing it once a week because we sometimes we get song suggestions. And I think to myself, like, why did you request this song, <laughs> you right, know? Yeah. And I want to put more songs on the channel that uh, make you feel some kind of emotion. Okay. And I usually get that with country songs. Yeah. And that's why I love country songs. Country so much because a lot of them uh, have this uh, story telling that you just don't find in many right. other genres yeah. of music. So speaking of country... Um, I would have to say Jimmy Allen, Freedom Was a Highway. Now, uh, I know a lot of people don't like this song, uh, but this song feels like nostalgia to me. Mm -hmm. I love Brad Paisley, and it introduced me to Jimmy Allen. Um, but it also made me feel like, oh, when I was 17 and driving and the, the feeling that I felt, and it really gave me that sense of nostalgia. Mm -hmm. um, this took you back. Yeah, and so I listen to that song quite often. Mm. So right now, those are some of the f most favorite songs. I do have a, a more songs, but we will be here all day because um, uh, Chris Christopherson, he wrote this song for Janis Joplin. 
uh, and I have it on my music mm. university, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll have to find me on Patreon for that. So, <laughs> uh, but I could continue this all day. So if you want this to be a series, uh, let us know in the comment section down below. But if you don't view it and you don't leave comments, we ain't going to do this no more. Right, exactly. Uh, so tell me what's your favorite song so, that made. Um, some of the songs that, I, that, that are my favorite songs that I've enjoyed from doing these reactions mm -hmm. uh, that have been introduced to me uh, my one of my favorites is Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd. Mm, Pink ooh, Floyd is one of my one. favorite bands yeah. that I've grown to love, but these guys, they make music that just takes you to another planet. Mm -hmm. And one of the main reasons why I enjoy this particular song, Comfortably Numb, because it, it makes me think about my father mm -hmm. and, and spending time with my father because mm -hmm. Pink Floyd was my father's favorite band. Mm -hmm. um, another song, or yes, another song is Lucretia by Megadeth. Okay. Um, that was the first Megadeth song that I listened to. Mm -hmm. When I heard it, it blew me away. Um, and it's been just a roller coaster since that song. Yeah. Uh, the next one would be Marty Robbins. Ooh, now, the we, Gunfighter Ballads. Yes, the Gunfighter Ballads. The first song we listened to by Marty Robbins was Big Iron, mm -hmm. and I love the storytelling in it. But the trilogy, El Paso Trilogy, Ooh. that really yeah. just took me there. Yeah. Because I was like, whoa. Yeah. Just really, really good. Yeah. Great song. Great story. Love Marty Robbins. Yeah. And the last one, I would say, uh, because as you were saying, there's just a whole bunch of songs. Yeah. But the last one, I would say, is Black Sabbath, uh, Symptom of the Universe. Okay. I think it has a great mixture of uh, energy and feeling from, you know, uh, old school rock and roll. Mm -hmm. And... I, I just love how Ozzy and the band does it. Mm -hmm. Like they, these guys, they really knock it out of the park with yeah. their style of music. So, so I do have a question for you. Yeah, go what ahead. is your favorite song of all time? My favorite song of all time. Yes. Oh man. Um, I, you know what? I would have to say it's a song by Deftones. Okay. Uh, which I I know you know who they are. I'm not sure if you guys know, but the song is called Knife Party. Oh, that was a good one. And one of the main reasons why it's my favorite song of all time mm -hmm. is because um, we always say this thing about with music. Mm -hmm. It's like music is 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 special to you when you hear it when something is going on in your life, mm -hmm. and no matter you know where you are in your life if you mm -hmm. hear a particular song it can take you back to that mm -hmm. event or back to that certain part yeah. of time in your life and so with that particular song knife party it mm -hmm. was just a random offshoot song that i heard mm -hmm. back in the day and i was going through something and when i heard it it just made me feel better yeah and it was almost like every time I was going through something, mm -hmm. if I heard that song, it always made me feel better. Yeah. So that's my favorite song. Okay. What about you? Uh, Christopher Cross, or I like to call him Criss Cross. <laughs> Christopher okay. Cross, Sailing. Sailing. This Never heard that. is one of, in my opinion, the most beautiful song <laughs> in How does the it world. go? I'm going to have you do a reaction to it. Okay. For some reason, I, I guess I like songs that give me this n nostalgic feeling. Right, exactly. This yeah. song, I think, came out maybe in the 70s or the 80s, so I don't know why I feel nostalgic about it. <laughs> 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 but for some reason, it takes me away, and it makes me feel better. Uh, and there, the it's just, it feels good. It The song feels like heaven to me. Yeah. And that's why I love this. It's just so beautiful. It's so soothing. Um, and I'm going to have you listen to it. And okay. like if I'm feeling down, if I feel a certain way, I listen to the song and everything just feels better. You know, and maybe we'll do this in another video. I was watching a TED Talk where they were saying that music is actually healing. Yeah. Um, uh, I think so. Yeah, it's act, it's a healing quality to certain music. Because the, it, you know the the same thing, the same reasoning about why Deftones' "Knife Party" is my favorite song. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes me away. It makes me feel better. Mm -hmm. That's the same reasoning why uh, the "Sailing" is your favorite song. Mm -hmm. And so I think for a lot of people, their favorite songs are rooted in those qualities. Mm -hmm. 
you know, they're therapeutic. So we would love to know what your favorite songs are. Yeah. So guys, go ahead and list them down below in the comment section. Of course, if you have like your ultimate all-time favorite song, <laughs> let us know. We would love to hear it. But uh, we want to go ahead and wrap this up with our competition. We want to announce who won the competition for last week in which that is Scott. Scott has won and he has requested Dire Straits and the song is called Wild West End. So if you want your chance to win a uh, reaction from us. What can uh, I do, babe? Yeah, all you have to do is type in the code word. For, the so this word? week the code word is rosebud. Oh, why that? Why is why? Are you, what do you mean? You don't know about rosebud, baby? Is that a name of a song? Guys, let her know about rosebud down they below in the know. comment section. So all you have to do is type <laughs> rosebud and then type in the name of your song, yeah. and uh, yeah, and, and you then, can win. Yeah, and you'll win. But yes. you know, on top of that, we also want you to type in like what your favorite songs are. Yeah, and make yeah. sure you subscribe to the channel so you you know when you win. Okay, right, absolutely. Don't not be subscribed to the channel trying to enter this contest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but as always, guys, uh, make sure you stay tuned tonight uh, on Friday nights. We will be hosting our live stream at nine thirty. Hoedown. Yes, our country music hoedown. That's going to be followed by Metal Meltdown at Today's midnight. Yes. So, guys, have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you later on tonight. Yes. Peace. Okay.